Hey everyone, my name is Flux Trance, and I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you this tutorial series on the new campus expansion for City Skylines. Today, we'll be talking about Varsity Sports. This aspect of the campus DLC is without a doubt my favorite. Campuses aren't just a way to educate your citizens, they're their own thriving community. The addition of Varsity Sports in particular is what really brings your campus a sense of identity. Sporting arenas work slightly different than other campus facilities in that they don't necessarily need to be placed within the campus itself. If an arena is placed outside the campus area, it'll behave like a match day stadium and represent the city as a whole. Likewise, placing an arena within a campus contributes to that campus's varsity sports presence. With the campus expansion, you'll have access to five different arenas. Aquatics, basketball, track and field, baseball, and football. To add a varsity sports team to your campus, simply plop any one of these arenas within your campus area. You can then click on the arena to get a brief overview of your team's performance, income, and expenses. Clicking on the Campus Area Info button will take you to the Campus Info panel associated with the campus area that the arena resides in. From here, you can manage all the teams associated with your campus. Clicking the tabs on the bottom of the panel will let you quickly see the performance of each team. However, everything else on the panel is associated with all teams on the campus. In this menu, you can adjust funding, change your varsity sports identity and color, and view the performance of your campus varsity sports presence as a whole. The funding and ticket price sliders in this panel are where things really get interesting. Adjusting the ticket price influences the number of fans that will attend home games, and adjusting the cheerleading funding can increase the chances of winning home games by up to 7%. Hiring coaching staff, however, affects the chances of winning at both home and away games. Coaching staff works similar to campus staff in that their value increases over time. In this case, each staff member has the potential of yielding a 1% increase in win percentage, meaning a fully staffed coaching team could potentially contribute up to 25% towards your varsity team's win percentage. It's worth noting that the varsity team's base chance of winning is 30%, and additional funding simply adds to the probability of winning. Policies are another way of influencing your varsity sports team's odds of winning. By navigating to the Policies tab in the Campus Info panel, Varsity Sports Policies can be selected to boost your team's chances of winning at the cost of incurring some additional weekly expenses. Finally, we arrive at Trophies. As mentioned briefly in the Campus Reputation and Academic Year tutorial videos, trophies boost campus attractiveness. At the end of an academic year, trophies are awarded for each of your teams that won 80% or more of their games. Now keep in mind that the campus attractiveness boost earned from each trophy degrades over time, so you'll definitely want to keep the funding coming for varsity sports if you're relying on their campus attractiveness boost to maintain your campus reputation level. But that's pretty much everything for the varsity sports aspect of the new campus expansion for City Skylines. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure to subscribe here for more tutorials like this one.